In today's video, I'm going to show you a free and easy way to generate your very own children's animation video using AI, just like the one you're about to see. Stay tuned. I just love Christmas. This is such a beautiful place. Time to sing some Christmas carols. So the first step of this entire process is to create a series of images that you want to use for your video. For purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using Leonardo AI today to generate our images. Generally, I use Midjourney in a lot of my tutorials, but today let's try out Leonardo AI just because there is a completely free option. So I already have an account, but if you don't already have an account with Leonardo AI, you would want to go ahead and create an account with them. Now for me, I'm going to go ahead and launch app. And as you can see, there are many different styles of images you could generate with Leonardo AI. It is very similar to Midjourney in that it is really a text to image AI capability, which allows you to put in a written prompt and then it will try to generate an image for you based on that. I'm going to try to create an animation type of video. So I'm going to scroll over here and I'm going to click on this 3D animation style feature. As you can see below, these are the types of images that this feature can help create, which is really awesome. It kind of gives a little bit of a Disney slash Pixar style. So I'm going to click on generate with this model. Okay, so what you want to do right now is enter in your image generation prompt. So this is very similar to Midjourney for those of you who are familiar with Midjourney. And so what I want to put in here is, and it really depends on the theme of the animation you're trying to generate. So in this case, let's say we want to generate a mini animation of a little girl who's always dreamed of going to space and now she actually gets to. I'm going to put in a prompt which I previously typed up. I'm just going to paste it in here. So a little toddler girl in an astronaut outfit standing next to a rocket staring up into the night sky filled with beautiful stars holding her astronaut helmet uh, in her arms full body 3d cartoon disney style so let's see what this gives us so i'm going to click on generate and we're going to wait until it's done generating Okay, so while the image generated isn't exactly what I had prompted it to do, for example, I asked for the girl to be holding an astronaut helmet in their arms. Instead, there's a second little girl that's been generated, but I think that we can make this one work. We can make it like this little sister is sending her big sister off to space, which is also pretty awesome. But obviously when you're doing this and you don't like the image that got generated, you can always regenerate it. So now I'm going to try to do a second photo of a little girl in an astronaut outfit, helmet on inside a rocket ship. Close up. 3D cartoon Disney style. So let's see what happens because we're going to try to generate at least two separate scenes. Okay, and so now that little girl is inside the rocket. So that's actually quite perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. What we're going to do is download these images. So I'm going to hit on download here and I'm going to hit on download here. So now that I have generated the two images that I plan on using for my animation, I can hop on to the exciting phase of actually animating these images. Obviously, depending on your ideas for your plot and your animation, you can generate more images before you head on to the animation phase. But for illustration purposes, I'm going to just use these two images. So there are two different approaches that I'm going to show you in terms of how you can animate these images. Both are really awesome and quite different and you definitely want to stay until the end because the best videos that you can create is to actually combine both methods into one animation which will make it a lot more professional. 
So the first animation tool that I want to show you is called Runway Gen 2. For Runway Gen 2, there is actually a basic trial version that is free and which is really awesome because you get to try it out. You actually get to do the animations for free before you decide if you want to sign up for a more professional package that you actually have to pay for per month. So now once you've signed up either for the free trial version or one of these options, then you can head on into the actual Runway Gen 2 dashboard where you get to start creating your animation. So what you want to do is to click on Start with Image here and I'm going to upload a file which is one of the images that I had created earlier. So I'm going to click on this one and just upload. So when you click on here, don't put in a prompt because once you put in a prompt, it kind of alters the integrity of the image that you have here. So what I would do is just leave it as is, and I'm just going to generate 4S sense for four seconds. So what it does is it creates four seconds of animation based on the photo you had just uploaded. So I'm going to click on generate and let's see what happens. Awesome. So it looks like it's done. Okay. So let's see what we've done here. Wow, so it made it really happy. So the end is a little strange in terms of the face, but you can always regenerate and it creates a slightly different animation each time. So now I'm going to show you the second method of creating your animation from the images we had just generated, and that's by using DID.com. And this is a really cool website because it can basically make your characters talk. If you don't already have an account with DID, no worries. Go ahead and start a free trial. So it is free at the beginning. And once you use up all the credits that they give you for free, then you'll have to sign up for a paid plan. But it's just really simple. All you have to do right now is start free trial by entering your email address and also creating a password and so in my case I already have an account so I'm going to hop on over once I've logged in this is what I will see I'm going to click on create video I'm going to go ahead and upload the image that we had created earlier and we can start animating on the right hand side you see a part where it says script this is where you can type in what you want the character to say so maybe what I can say is I am so excited that I am going to space. Okay, and I'm going to keep it in English, but you can actually choose from many different languages. So if you're looking to create a YouTube channel in a different language, that is also possible. And you can pick from all these different languages. But in my case, I'm going to keep it as English. And in terms of the voices, you can actually pick the different types of voices and you can kind of preview them before you choose which one you want to go with. So in our case, because it's a little girl, I'm going to skip on over to the female section and there are different ones who can try. So let's try out Jenny. I am so excited that I'm going to space. So Jenny is a little mature. So let's try out Anna. I am so excited that I'm going to space. I think this is perfect. This is like a little girl's voice, which is exactly what our character is. So I'm going to pick Anna. And once I've put in all these parameters, I can go ahead and generate the video. And I'm going to click on generate, which is going to use one credit and that's okay. And it's now generated, so let's open it up and see what it looks like. I am so excited that I'm going to space. This is perfect. Now that we have our animation, we can hop on over to step three, which is when you would combine all those different animated clips that you put together into one big animation. So in our case, we only have a few clips, but what I usually like to use is CapCut. So CapCut is also a free video editing software that you can use on your phone as well as on your laptop. So I've already signed up for an account, but if you don't already have one, you can go ahead, just put in your email, some basic information, and you can sign up for a CapCut account, which allows you to do all your editing. I'm going to just quickly show you how you would do this. So what you want to do is first upload some of the clips that we want to use. So I have a few generated things here. So let's put in this one and then I'm going to upload the other ones as well. I'm going to drag this first one in here and I am going to cut it out just for a little bit. And then we're going to use the second one where she's super excited. This one in between. So you can really play around with it and see what you want to do. Once you're happy with it, 
So I'm going to export it and so you can see what this is going to be like. I am so excited that I'm going to space. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.